Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, virtual travel. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from TechEdge and today we're talking about virtual travel and it's summer right now, at least for us. You may be watching it at a different time, but I think it's always relevant. We travel in summer, but sometimes we can't travel everywhere we want or we want to plan about the places we want to go to. It's definitely worthwhile doing with kids because they can be exposed to new places and new countries, whether you can go there or not. So my favorite place to go, which I've never gone to, so virtual travel is it for me, is Turkey and especially Istanbul. So I'm going to show you a few ways that you can interact with a travel in a way that helps you see that place, helps you learn about that place and help you experience that place, at least a little bit. So I want to start with an app on my iPad called the Ottoman Empire. And the Ottoman Empire was the foundation for modern Turkey. So that would allow us to explore the history of the place, at least in the few, uh, in the 700 uh, years. Uh, and you can see that there's a general introduction that gives you a map and shows you where the Ottoman Empire was and gives you a little bit of text. You can see that the text is, is relatively uh, controllable, it's not a, a huge amount. And then as you navigate this, you can hear about history, Ottoman law, the military of the, uh, of the Ottoman Empire. And you can see that there are feature here, features here that are unlocked and locked. So you can use the free features if you'd like, or if you'd like to uh, have uh, features that are hidden, you have to pay for it and that's part um, of the deal with uh, things like that. Um, so here's, for example, about the name of the Ottoman Empire, which is based on the name of Osman, the founder of the empire. And you can see early uh, findings from there. So it's a very rich app, even if you don't pay for extra stuff, lots of great images are included. Uh, uh, for example, here, um, from different sections in the text. So this is the Ottoman Empire, a great introduction. Another app that gives you a sense of the place is Istanbul Photos and Videos. And this is a really exactly what it says. It's a collection of photos and videos from the city of uh, Istanbul. And you can log in and get a sense of the place. So that's another one. I like using city guides. City guides are great. There are multiple cities. You can use different languages to read it in. Obviously, I will use uh, English. And uh, you can see that there's about Istanbul, there's a subway system. So if you want kids to try and navigate and see how they would get from point A to, uh, to point B, that's great. There's, uh, this, this is one of my favorite sections. It's a section about uh, foods and you can see the different foods and learn about them. So there's a, a picture, there's their origin and a little bit of text about it. Where did they get? The Ottoman Empire ruled over a majority of the Mediterranean and a good part of the Balkan at different times. So they've brought foods from all over their empire and this is what makes this an exciting, an exciting place from an eating perspective. Uh, so you have access to a lot of information about Istanbul in this case and everything that it's got to offer and you can tour, you can see the interesting things or think about the kind of foods you would like to have if you had it and you can even uh, pick up a recipe. So this is, uh, this is another app and of course if you are going to Turkey you need to know something about Turkish so here's an app uh, to teach basic Turkish and you can pick up different words for different things. So let's try uh, words for uh, buildings and you can see that you can create a study list and then you can start studying the specific words uh, and you can guess what it is and you can click on museum and it's muse and so you can start seeing those things and you can also hear them. So it can record you saying the words and it can, of course, uh, sound them out so you can hear what it says if you don't know uh, to read Turkish, which most of us don't, I think. 
So this is a great way to get access to some basic language. Uh, now using uh, Chrome, we can do some other things. So I'm going to start with using uh, Google Earth, which uh, Dan here is smiling because it's my favorite app ever. And what I zoomed in on is the Museum of Hagia Sophia, which was a church and then turned into a mosque. And uh, what I have done is I turned on 3D buildings and 3D buildings are available here. So this is what it would look like. And of course you can navigate around so I can get a better angle on seeing the whole thing. I can zoom in and out. I can get closer and I can also see and you can see how many people posted pictures here. So I can see a picture that was taken right there of the windows at uh, the entry or if I really want to, I can go here to the side and drop me in the street view. And that will bring us into the building. And again, you can have access to pictures inside the buildings and it really allows you to see, to get a sense of the size, a sense of the way it looks in reality, but also the dimensions through this 3D building. It's a great, great way to do that. The other thing that you can do is you can go and go to Google Cultural Institute and Google Cultural Institute really concentrates a lot of information from different museums and sites around the world. And this is the site about Istanbul and you can see we, who are their partners there. So they've got, this, for example, the Istanbul uh, Research Institute, they've got SALT, they've got the Para Museum. So let's just click on the Para Museum and they have uh, 247 different items just from that museum. So you can explore things like old uh, photos of the area, art of the area, and art that is actually shown in the museum. So this is Google Cultural Institute, and it's another way to get a sense of the culture as it was in the past, so the history, but also the current modern art, the modern art that is connected to the creation of a modern Egypt, and all of these aspects. So it's really, really exciting. Lots of resources. Kids can explore that place from multiple perspectives, choose something they're interested in. What has been very successful working with kids is actually having them plan a day trip inside Istanbul, which sites they would choose, how they would get from point A to point B, what they, do they expect to see there, what is a little bit of the history and the geography of the place, and that can be a very, very rich experience. So today, on mobile learning in the classroom, we talked about taking virtual tours. I gave an example of a place I really want to go to, uh, Istanbul in Turkey, but you can do this with almost any place in the world because the information is out there between Google Earth, different apps, and lots of other opportunities you can explore. And I'll see you next time on mobile learning in the classroom.